Hey, this is Brad from the Hi-Fi side, um, and we got to talking on the Mac forum today about compressors and spray guns and regulators and water traps, and somebody mentioned a turbine sprayer, so I wanted to try one. So I went to Harbor Freight and I bought, basically it's an entry level sprayer, I think uh, Rockler makes one that looks pretty much like it, I have a feeling it's the same thing. Um, first impressions when I <clears throat> open the box up is I said, what the hell am I getting myself into? But um, the air hose is stiff, not my cup of tea. Um, seems like a well built unit. It's all plastic, it has brass nozzle needles. Um, seems to blow out some air. I ran some reducer through it just to see how it sprays, and I'm gonna start with the 1.0 tip in it, because I have a feeling it's gonna put out plenty of material and just not have the air to atomize what we're trying to do. Um, so I'm gonna use auto body paint and primer and clear all on it. This is a product from Kirker. You can get out of auto body tool mark. This is mixed one to one. Uh, I'm going to do a medium gray, so I put a little black epoxy in it, which I have on the mixing bank. And then we're going to uh, put about 20% reducer in it, because I have a feeling it's going to need it. Um, I'm going to get set up. I'm going to put the, this unit just outside the booth door here, so it's not so loud for the video. And we won't be sucking in any overspray that might be in the air, because I won't be running my booth while we're doing the video. But we'll get started. Okay, so now we have wax and grease removed this, got any contaminants off it, we tack cloth it, get any dirt and lint off it. This is an old fender that was beat up and somebody sent it to us to match the color of paint and now it just needs to be thrown away. But we're going to use it as a test panel and see how this sprays. We're also going to use this just to kind of show you how the fan pattern works. We're going to start out with the nozzle all the way in and then we're going to pull it out until we find kind of what we want to spray with. So we'll get started.
Well, it's coat number two. It doesn't look too bad. Not bad at all. We'll put one more coat on it. We'll go from there and we'll put some base coat on it. It's been um, about 15 minutes. We're going to put on our third coat. But before I do that, I'm going to turn on the turbine and I'm going to spray the air so you can see it hiccup. That way, in case if you buy one and it starts to hiccup, you know what the problem is or what I'm talking about when we get started. starting to dry too so you'll see like speckle of dry spots here don't see much for dirt in it as far as having the boot doors open and, and loose not clean by any means so far so good okay next we're going to use base coat base coat is one part base to one part reducer. Um, this base coat is some base coat I had sitting on the shelf and it's from 522 of 2015. When I opened it up, it wasn't chunky, wasn't nothing, so it should work just fine. It's a competition orange, came off of a Mustang, I think. Yes, Mustang. So we'll get started with that and you've noticed maybe that I don't run that very long because if you do run that too long, that hose gets pretty warm from that turbine pushing that air out. So I try to minimize as much possible of that running. I start it up, I paint, I shut it off. We'll be back, we're gonna let this flash probably for about another five, 10 minutes and then we'll start base coating. All right, now it's time we're gonna start to spray some base coat. So it's a bit of orange. Um, what I'm going for here, even with this pattern, I'm going six on six, just to give me a roundabout of where I want to be when I start with the next series of light orange now. This is a six inches wide, I'm about six inches back. Then I kind of know how it will spray here. So we'll get started.
flash, we'll uh, take some fluid out of the system and hopefully we can get that to smooth out. We did use slower reducer, that way it, the longer it sits it'll kind of even out. Hopefully that all works. We'll move back. 15 minutes later, coat number two.
Okay, it's been about um, 10 minutes probably. It seems to be flashing pretty good. We are going to turn our fluid needle in just a little bit, maybe go a little slower. Try to use that. Getting better, it's got bigger orange filled out, so by the time we get to the third coat, we should be okay. Maybe. Alright, coat number three. Um, this will be it. I'm kind of double coating it because it's holding on, so I'm not worried about that, but I'm trying to get rid of that orange peel and not put so much on at once, and then we'll have it all on the floor. Let's get going. Hopefully. Well, it's got some orange peel, but it's not that bad at all, I don't think. Especially on the tops, it's uh, it looks really good. It's kind of hard to tell. I mean, you can see from the light the peel in it. Um, the sides. Got some orange peel, but for a hundred dollar unit, I don't know. I wouldn't say that I'd probably use the maybe the best choice of clear. I probably could have used a thinner clear, I would have had a little better luck. But uh, I'm gonna give my uh, conclusion on the whole deal and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. All right. Uh, give my conclusion on the Chicago Electric Power Tools. It is the spray kit, high volume, low pressure, complete spray kit. Um, it works pretty good. I was pretty amazed. Uh, it takes a little bit of messing around with the velocity of paint, but once you find that out, it works really well. For, I think uh, it's $119.99, I had a 20% off coupon, so I got a, for $102 with tax. 
which you cannot get a compressor, an air hose, a water trap, um, a spray gun for $102. Not that's actually going to spray something. You create more water than you create anything. So the only things I didn't like about it is the hose. It's really rigid. It's hard to move around. Um, I was going to show you what I did to take the sputtering out. So there's a, a nut right here, and inside here there is um, like uh, nylon washers, and those have to be tighter on the needle, nice and snugger on that needle. If not, it gets air into there and it'll make it spit and sputter. So you want to make sure this is snug, not too tight, otherwise the needle won't move. Um, cleaning it, it's okay. I mean, it, it seems to clean up really well. There's a little seal in here that I have a feeling would probably go bad in due time. Seems to have some pretty good power. I read online that people have power or problems with this flying off, coming out of the gun. I didn't have no problems with that. As far as the way it sprays, like I said, I think you just have to work with it. Do test panels before you actually do your work. Um, anything else? I think that's it. It's, I give it a thumbs up. I think it's a good product. I think a lot of uh, DIYers that do speaker boxes and stuff like that that don't have big shops or you know big garages, anything like that, put compressors and all that crap in it. This is a good starter. So to me, this is good. If you're going to spend three to five hundred dollars, I think you should be able to get a great one because they make all kinds of them. Thanks for watching.